Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about exponential functions. Now any function of the form f of x is equal to a raised to power x where a is greater than 0 and a is not equal to 1 is called an exponential function. with base A and the graph of the function has the equation y is equal to a raised to power x here x is the exponent and A is the base, that is the independent variable which is x is the exponent, that means the domain which is the independent variable is the exponent. Now let us learn how to draw a graph for an exponential function. Now before we draw the graph, we should keep in mind the following fact. log x to the base a is defined for positive values of x only and base a is always positive. Secondly, for all values of a, log 1 to the base a is equal to 0 since a raised to power 0 is equal to 1. And next, when a is greater than 1, log infinity to the base a is equal to infinity since a raised to power infinity is equal to infinity and log 0 to the base A is equal to minus infinity since A raised to power minus infinity is equal to 1 over A raised to power infinity which is equal to 1 over infinity which is equal to 0. And next when 0 is less than a, less than 1, that is a is lying between 0 and 1, then log infinity to the base a is equal to minus infinity. Since a raised to power minus infinity is equal to 1 over a whole raised to power infinity, which is equal to infinity, as 1 over a is greater than 1. And log 0 to the base a is equal to infinity since a raised to power infinity is equal to 1 over a whole raised to power minus infinity which is equal to 0 as 1 over a is greater than 1. And next is for all positive values of a a raised to power x is positive whether x is positive or negative and a raised to power x never vanishes For finite values 
of x. Now let us discuss an example. In this we have to draw a graph for the exponential function y is equal to 3 raised to power x. Now here a is equal to 3. x is an independent variable which is the exponent here. And as discussed above, if the base is a constant and the exponent is a variable, then the function is called the exponential function. Now for the solution, first of all, we will draw a table for the different values of x and y. Now given the function y is equal to 3 raised to power x. Now for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3 raised to power 1 which is equal to 3. So for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. Now for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3 raised to power 2 which is 9. So for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 9. Now for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 3 raised to power 0 which is 1. So for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. For x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 3 raised to power minus 1 which is 1 by 3 which is equal to 0 0.3. Therefore, for x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 0 0.3. Now for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 3 raised to power minus 2 which is equal to 1 over 3 raised to power 2 which is 1 over 9 which is equal to 0 0.1. So for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 0 0.1. Now for x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to 3 raised to power minus 3 which is equal to 1 over 3 raised to power 3 which is equal to 1 by 27 which is equal to 0 0.03. Therefore for x is equal to minus 3 y is equal to 0 0.03. Now we will plot all these points on the graph. First of all let us plot the point 1, 3 on the graph. So this is the point 1, 3 on the graph. Now let us plot the point 2, 9 on the graph. So this is the point 2, 9 on the graph. Now let us plot the point 0, 1 on the graph. So this is the point 0, 1 on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph of the exponential function y is equal to 3 raised to power x. Now we can observe here that the curve does not pass through the origin, that is O, and it will cut the x-axis when y will be equal to 0, that is, 0 is equal to 3 raised to power x only when x is equal to minus infinity. So from this side we can observe that as x tends to minus infinity then y tends to 0. That is this curve meets the negative direction of x axis at infinity. Now it cuts the y axis when x is equal to 0. Now putting x is equal to 0 here, y is equal to 3 raised to power 0, that is y is equal to 1. So it cuts the y axis at the point 0, 1. Now as 3 raised to power x, that is, y is positive, whether x is positive or negative, or in other words you can say that the curve lies only in the first and the second quadrants,
that is above the x-axis. Now from this side you can observe that as x increases, then y increases, that is y is the increasing function of x. That is, as x tends to infinity, y tends to infinity. So by this example, we have discussed the case 1 when a is greater than 1. Now let us discuss one more example in which a is lying between 0 and 1. That is, plot a graph for the exponential function y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x. So here 1 by 3 is lying between 0 and 1. Now find the solution. We will draw a table for the different values of x and y. Now putting the various values of x, we can find the different values of y. Now given y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x, now for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 1 by 3, whole raised to power minus 2, which is equal to 3 raised to power minus 1, whole raised to power minus 2, which is equal to 3 raised to power 2, which is equal to 9. So for x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 9. Now for x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 1 by 3, whole raised to power minus 1 which is equal to 3 raised to power 1, which is equal to 3. So for x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 3. Now for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1 by 3, whole raised to power 0, which is equal to 1. So for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. Now for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power 1, which is equal to 1 by 3, which is equal to 0 0.3. So for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0 0.3. Now for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power 2, which is equal to 1 by 3 square, which is equal to 1 by 9. And this is equal to 0 0.1. So for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0 0.1. And now we will plot these points on the graph. First of all, let us plot the point minus 2, 9 on the graph. Now this is the point minus 2, 9 on the graph. Now we will plot the point minus 1, 3 on the graph. So this is the point minus 1, 3 on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph for the exponential function y is equal to 1 by 3 whole raised to power x. Now here we can observe that the curve does not pass through the origin O. And the curve will cut the x-axis when y will be equal to 0, that is, when x will be equal to infinity. Therefore, the curve meets the positive direction of x-axis at infinity, that is, as x tends to infinity, y tends to 0. That is, you can see from this side, that as x tends to infinity, y tends to 0. And it cuts the y-axis when x is equal to 0, that is, by putting x is equal to 0 here, we are getting y is equal to 1. So it is cutting the y-axis at the point 0, 1. And 1 by 3, whole raised to power x is positive, whether x is positive or negative, or in other words, the curve lies only in the first and second quadrants, that is, above the x-axis. 
and also on this side you can see that as x tends to minus infinity, y tends to infinity. So by this graph we have discussed the second case when a is lying between 0 and 1. So in this session we have learnt about exponential functions. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.